it does a primary and secondary dns query adu ipo enga paakuradhu inge paarenga i say ip config slash all see here dns servers this one this one right if you notice 192.168.1.19 enna the router that you are connected wireless router connect aringala and the ip da adu so first enna pannudhu it does a local host file la check pannudhu second broadcast pannudhu third router ku kekudhu unak theriyuma da appdin kekudhu then router saying i don't know then router what it will do is router avan vandu he will have dns server configured 8.8.8.8 la poi check pannittu vaanu 8.8.8.8 is google's public dns server right whenever you buy a domain name uh, say square brothers go daddy like you will purchase a domain name right so they will map this name with the ip address am i clear so that list will be there in the dns servers trusted dns servers will share that now in the anna university la in the or system ku it is sitting in this perimeter right this system knows the private ip here and public ip outside yes or no puriyudhungla so i am going to do the same thing look at this so i am saying ns look up enter what is this this is the same ip that we saw kela it is showing in ipv6 format but we are talking about the same ip address am sure. i clear i am saying who.is this is a website who.is to see or domain name has what dns server you understand ipo i am saying iitm.ac. thing what i am going to do is i am going to say the ns lookup application instead of using my local routers ip as your dns server ip use this as your dns server ip so you will also know the ip is inside that network which means we are almost stepping one side what peaking inside the network of that is the idea you understand what i'm saying right let us see this i'm copying this right what i'm going to do is i'm going to say server based enter see now it has set this as the default server munadi enna irundhathu parunga this was the default server unknown now the default server became you understand the ns lookup under application ku right now the dns server is that one you understand what i'm saying yes or no okay now having said that look at this i am going to say help help and kudukumbodhu there are multiple uh, things that comes right so what i'm going to say is set type equal to x in rig x or value can be any of this but what i'm going to use is any any na edinal irukalam i'm saying whatever type of records you see on the dns show me you understand so i'm saying set type equal to any dir command ku alternative in linux enadu l we have ls ls la hyphen a list canonical name hyphen d list so we will go with all records yes or no i am saying ls hyphen hyphen d iitm dot ac dot in let us see what is it saying Please. it is saying can't list the domain names of iit dot ac iitm dot ac dot in a query refused the dns server refused to transfer the zone of iitm dot ac to your computer if this is incorrect check the zone transfer setting okay what happened they are not trusting our system for the zone transfer and hence they are not sharing the zone details yes or no now this is which ip 
Which? We are talking about DNS one, right? Now what I'm going to do is DNS two dot IATM dot AC dot IN, right? Then I say set type equal to. Then I say ls hyphen d equal to IATM dot AC dot IN. Okay, right? I will tell you. when you are doing a security audit or pen testing on a site and if the site is full proof which is secure you can do a dns zone transfer probably if it is showing a dns zone transfer you will know set of other computers in the network through which you can hack into the network yes or no this attack is called the axfr attack this happens on tcp 53 dns port why tcp because zone transfer udp 53 is dns query alone okay how do we fix this you can implement something called dns sec with which you can easily mitigate this number 1 number 2 you can have trusted boundaries or entities for each of the dns server you can say that this dns server can do zone transfer only to this dns server rest everything is blacklisted if you do that this attack won't be possible right and let me tell you one out of every 25 websites in government site has this issue okay thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cyber security